hello everyone welcome to the channel for everything arsenal thanks for being here i hope you're all doing well and in this video we're going to be discussing the potential lineup or the possible lineup if arsenal end up signing both Buendia and bisuma obviously the chances of us signing these two players are like 10 percent and um, the chances of us signing a play in each of those positions could be like 50 percent since we are losing a lot of midfielders sabas is gone odegaard could be gone willock will he be here will he not nelson will he be here will he not torera might leave guenduzi might leave so we definitely need to strengthen the midfield otherwise we'll have shark is another one who's leaving otherwise we'll have uh, like two midfielders next season so we definitely need players in these positions before i get into the actual lineup let me know um i want to know from you guys if you had the chance to sign just one player splash the cash on one of these players and then maybe sign a cheap option in the other position which one would you go for first is it Buendia or is it bisuma which position do you think we need first? Someone to part, partner party in midfield or someone to help out the likes of Saka and Pepe up front? Let me know which one you'd go for. So let me now get into the potential lineup if we sign both of the players. Let me put it on screen right now. So as you can see, um, that looks very promising, right? It really does look nice. Yeah, it looks like a kind of a top four team. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I tried back. I've left it as a blank. Because I really don't know who's going to be playing there next season. Bellerin could leave. Chambers could be here. Could leave. Will he be the first choice there? Cedric. I literally don't know. Niles. We literally have like five right backs in the team. And we don't know which one is going to start in that position. Obviously, Tini will be there. Gabriel. Maybe Saliba. Leno. The likes of Pepe Saka. But we are here to focus on Buendia and Bisuma. So, we'll start with Buendia. Uh, Buendia usually plays in the right wing. Um, a position where... Saka has been playing for us a few times, Pepe has been playing for us a few times, but we've seen Pepe and Saka can cover in the other positions. So if we sign Buendia, I would want to see him in that position. Obviously, with those three players, anyone can play anywhere. Pepe could move to the right, Buendia could move to the number 10 position, Saka to the left. But the one thing I'd say is you really do need like a consistent partnership. We've seen Pepe and Chambers doing very well together. We've seen Pepe and Bellerin not doing so well together. Tane has really not had a a consistent partner in front of him today it's obama and tomorrow it's pepe the next day it's um, nelson the next day it's odegaard and that drinks me through so you need someone to create an understanding with for the good teams back in the days perez and ashley cole had a good partnership beckham and gary neville had a consistent partnership all those positions you had a consistent partnership so the problem with rotating and moving around all these attacking players is that you don't create a partnership with the fullbacks and i'll actually put this on screen right now there's very many positions you actually need a consistent partnership in the squad. You have 11 players, yes, but you need someone like Buendia and the right back to have a, an understanding. You need Tini and Pepe on that left side to have an understanding. You need the centre-backs, Gabriel and whoever is going to be there, whether it's Saliba that's going to be holding, whether it's going to be Mavropanos, to have an understanding. You need Leno to have an understanding with all four of his defenders. You need Pate to have an understanding with his fellow midfielder, who's going to push forward when, who's going to stay back when, are we both going to stay back. You need, if you have two strikers like back in the day when Owen and Heskey or Rooney and Tevez used to play together, Hondre and Beckham, you need them to understand each other. So there's many many like tactics and all those options and understanding you need to have in the team but the one we are going to focus on or the two we are going to focus on is Buendia and Bisuma so for Buendia you need to create an understanding with the right back so if we end up signing like a Max Aaron someone who's played with him on that side at Norwich for two seasons maybe that would be perfect for us and then for Bisuma in midfield um, obviously Pate usually says a box-to-box -box midfielder but he hasn't been able to do that most of the time because there's a time started with Smith and Odegaard and both of them are pushing forward which means Pate has to stay back against Tottenham when you consider the second goal at White Hart Lane or the Tottenham Stadium whatever you want to call it no one cares you have to have like someone sticking there in that position the moment party left we didn't have anybody so we really need someone to stick there so if party pushes forward we have bisumo just going to sit there which would be very very good um, and um, for for us in terms of defending and attacking and the transition would be perfect for us like to cover both positions to cover both positions remember we don't have any europa league next season he kind of used that um competition for like experiments and you try out the youngsters but since we don't have that competition he has to get the team right in preseason that's another thing let me know do you guys really like when you sign players like three or four games into the season maybe next season the rules have changed since there's no like um 
postponements of games and stuff like that the off season is longer so i usually don't like when we sign players four or five games into the season when you're ready you've already dropped or lost three games already plus you take a lot of time to integrate the players like we, we did sign Odegaard in January, imagine if we signed him at the start of the season. It takes time to adapt to the league, it takes time to understand your teammates. So I usually don't like when you sign players, even party, we signed him like in the first international break when you've already lost a game or two and you've already dropped six points behind the top four. No, we want the players to join at the beginning of the season. Chelsea signed Vanna right before the end of last season. They signed ZH very early. They had time to play in the friendly matches. So we have to get these players early. Let's get the deals done during the Euros. And immediately they come in July. Everyone can have like a month to understand each other. And we could build something. So that's the potential lineup with um, Bisuma and um, Wendy in the team. Obviously there's a lot of formations you could play. Also let me know which kind of formation you'd like to see next season. So I'll do more of this kind of videos. So thank you for watching. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you guys later.